lighting issues today. But if you'll remember this box that I have, and I'm in my fuzzy robe. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the hinge from the back of it, and then I'm gonna paint it. So let's get that done. Okay, so I have my two pieces, and I'm going to be painting them. And my plan is on the top of this, this is the top of my box. I have, I found this printable online. I just went and searched um, for Amazing Grace, one that I liked, and then I printed it out on my printer, and then I burnt the edges, and I didn't film doing this because I really wasn't sure how to film it and do it at the same time because you have to be very careful. But I went outside. I did not try it inside. I went outside and I would burn a little bit and then I would like shake it and get it off. And um, so I have my Amazing Grace. This is my absolute favorite song. And my plan is to paint the box, to distress the box, and then I'm gonna Mod Podge this on, on the top. So. I'm going to be using a paint that I've never used before. So I have this Kills chalk paint. I am going to paint my box. I did go ahead um, and when I first got it, I did um, sand it slightly. I knew I was gonna paint it, but I did wanna try to get some of the, the shiny finish off of it. So I did lightly sand it. Uh, didn't go too crazy because I wanted to keep you know, the raised detail, because I think this makes it really pretty. And um, that's what I'm gonna be, you know, part of the, that I'm gonna be distressing. So, I have my box, have my paint, and I'm not gonna paint the inside, um, because I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the inside. Um, I kinda have an idea, I don't know that it's gonna work, but I'm only gonna focus, I'm only gonna paint the outside of the box and the outside of the top. I'm not gonna paint, it has this mirror and I'm not gonna paint the inside, I'm just gonna paint the outside. So, let's get to painting. The directions on this paint um, says to shake in thoroughly before opening. It's one hour dry time, two hours to recoat time. And it says that it will, can simply apply it over can be simply applied over most existing finishes with no slash minimum surface preparation. So we will see. So I have just this little foam brush. I'm just doing this tap dab in motion just to kind of get it all into the grooves of the raised pieces and then I just kind of smooth it out once I get it all in there. So I'm going to get both sides of this box painted and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to paint the top and then I'm going to let it dry. We just let it dry and we'll come back once it's dried in a couple of hours and do another coat. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've got my box painted. I wanted to spare you all the details because it literally took about four coats of this paint and then I even had to go back and do some spot painting, which is probably not going to matter, but I wanted it to be good and covered um, when I went to distress it and everything. And uh, I am going to end up having to paint the inside of the top of my top lid because I don't have enough to do what I wanted to do. But for the inside of my box, what I'm going to do is I had some um, scrapbook paper that I got from Hobby Lobby when it was like four for a dollar. And I had two different kinds. I didn't have enough of, of one you know, of the same kind. So I use, I picked this and then I picked this. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Mod Podge this in the back. I mean, I'm sorry, on the bottom, like so. And then because I had enough of this, I'm gonna do this on the back side, inside my box. And then for the front and the two sides, I'm going to put the other paper. I'm gonna show you. And I think it blends fairly well and I think it will be fine. But that's what it's gonna look like on the inside. So I'm gonna Mod Podge all that down, let that dry really good, and then I'm gonna come back and start my distressing on my box. I did wanna share, in order to get some really, the good straight cuts as good as possible, um, I used for the tops of the box, like where the top was gonna be, I tried to use the factory edge because I knew it was good and straight. And for the other cuts, I use this little tool, this little cutting tool. So just a little FYI there for you. So I'm just gonna put a generous amount on the bottom. And it's not gonna be smooth because the bottom of my box is not smooth, but I don't think that's gonna matter in the end because We want it to look old and rustic anyway, or that's my intent. dries we're going to set this to the side because I want to get to work on the lid because as you remember I'm going to Mod Podge this amazing grease on the lid but before I can do that I want to go ahead and distress it and get that all done and aged and then that way I can Mod Podge the amazing grease on top so I'm going to set this to the side and we're going to get started on the lid so I have this 220 grit sandpaper that I'm gonna lightly sand the top and kind of just get around where it would have the normal wear and tear. Y'all know the routine. <laughs> on there. So I just got through sanding it with my sander outside. Cleaned up my mess that I made in here with the sander. And now I'm getting ready to Mod Podge my Amazing Grace on the top. And the reason I'm doing it before I do any kind of other distressing, because I am going to probably use my antique wax by Waverly. But before I do that, I wanted to go ahead and have this on there. And then I could do it around it wherever I needed it and hopefully it works out. So I'm gonna do that next. Okay, so I was just kind of playing around with my placement. I think that looks really good. I really only sanded in distress, you know, where I knew it probably wouldn't be seen. So I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on the back of this. I'm probably not gonna go right now over the burnt edges because they're wanting to kind of like, they're very fragile. So I'll get it placed down and then I'll Mod Podge over that. And I wanna keep as much as the burnt look on the edges, so I'll just Mod Podge over that once I get it placed. Right. 
and I don't care that it's gonna have like some bubbles and stuff in it because I want it to look old, y'all. And I think that will only enhance the aging of it. So what I'm doing is kind of going around the edges underneath where I see that that's gonna be laying and then I'm just gonna lay it down. So I have something to stick to. I am no Mod Podge expert, y'all. Far from it. Like I said, I don't mind that it has wrinkles or bubbles. I really think that's going to add to the aged patina of it. So now I'm going to just Mod Podge over all of this. I can see that some of my, um, the color from my paper was coming off on my, the white, but again, I don't mind that. Like, I guess the Mod Podge is making the color run a little bit. Because we're gonna age it anyway. If we weren't gonna age this, that might be something you would need to be mindful of, but. There it is. I'm just going to let it dry. And then I'm not going to fool with it anymore so I'm going to screw it up. So I'm going to let this dry. When this dries, then I'm going to come back and do my antique wax over it. But this is what we're looking like so far. And I know it's got bubbles and I know that um, you can see some of the stains from my print. But that's okay because I'm gonna be doing the antique glaze over it anyway, so that's not a big deal. In worst case, I can kind of sand around where this little bit of Mod Podge just got on it. I don't know, this is just first time me trying something, so it may be a complete fail, but never know till you try, right? So don't be afraid to try things, you know? I mean, it may turn out to be perfect, so I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, so it's been several hours. I've let my Mod Podge dry. And I went out with my sander and I distressed my box. I give it a real good distressing. Okay, and then I also went out and distressed the top of this some more. And I even went over this. And if you'll see, it's kind of like right here. It's kind of took off some of that. But I like that, y'all, I really do. So I scuffed up some more of that and I scuffed this up. And so now we're fixing to do our glaze. I'm so excited about this part. I hope it turns out like I have a vision in my head. Putting on my trusty little apron that my mama gave me. And now we're going to begin. And I don't have very much of this left, but I'm gonna pour a little bit in the lid. Probably way too much. And get me some paper towel. Put some on my paper towel and just start wiping it in. This is what we're looking like so far. And y'all, even our, where the Mod Podge was out on the edges is actually working for us in our favor, in my opinion. Now, if you don't like getting your hands dirty, what you could do is brush it on. You could wear gloves and then you could like wipe it off, but I love that. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the box. I'm basically going to do the exact same thing. So 
set this time I'm going to try to get down into the crevices. Now what I'm going to do is because I really like the dark in those little grooves, I'm going to take me a little paintbrush. I'm just going to kind of pack that in. And just wipe off the excess. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. So I will, I'm gonna finish that and when I do, I'll come back and show you the finished result. Okay, another thing I did was I'm taking that same little brush. I'm just kind of going in the grooves and just darkening it up, shadowing it some. Just kind of age it a little bit more. I'm going to do the same around this edge. Okay, so I'm going to let all this dry and then I will come back and reassess and see if there's anything else I need to do. I'm just kind of getting around these little feet where the lid was, where my, but yeah, I'll be back shortly. So, I've decided I'm not gonna paint the inside of my lid the same color as the outside. I'm actually gonna just do it a dark brown. And I think that was gonna tie in with the side pieces that is in that scrap of paper. So for the color that I'm going to use, it's this Craft Smart paint, my mother gave it to me. Um, and it is, the color is, oh, cocoa bean, cocoa bean, yeah, cocoa bean, right there. It's not going to focus. Anyway, so I went ahead and lightly sanded, and I've got my stuff taped off, my mirror taped off. So I'm just going to paint around the edges of it, and... We're gonna call it done. So let me get this done and I'll be back. Okay, I have got it all painted and it is dry. Let me show you. So I painted it cocoa bean. And another little thing I did I wanted to show you. Okay. On the back of this, this is where um, the holes were originally that attached it to the actual jewelry box stand. 
and I didn't fill them in before I did anything and I after I sanded them I really didn't like the way it looked so I remembered that I had some of these little nails that I had bought I don't know I think they were from Hobby Lobby on clearance anyway so I clipped off the pointy end down some and then I hot glued them into the back just to kind of finish off the back and I really like the way that looked so much better sorry about the lighting but this is what our box is looking like. I love it. What do y'all think? Can you believe this is going to be thrown in the trash? So I guess this is a true trash to treasure, huh? And then when you open it up, you have this beautiful inside. Also, what I did, I didn't show y'all me doing it. Hold on. Um, if you'll see around the edges, some of my scrapbook paper didn't go exactly to the edges. So I just, while I had some of that excess brown paint on my, um, paintbrush, I just went around all the edges with it. Just real simple. And it kind of fixed where there was any pieces that. But yeah, that's it. Can you believe it? Trash to treasure, I love it. Um, don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it, but I was just thinking, you know, stuff like this, this is a really good Christmas gift, and I know it's only September when I'm making this. I'm not sure when this video will air, but you know, you gotta kinda be thinking ahead, but I mean, this was free, y'all. I had all the paint, I had the printer paper, and this was gonna be thrown in the trash. This was literally, ooh! <laughs> this was literally free. And I just, I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And, you know, it would make a beautiful gift for someone. And it's even finished if it, on the back, if it was to be seen. But you know, um, another way you could use this is like, um, if you use book boxes for your decor to elevate things I mean there it is I'm so happy with this this is um this is something different for me and I'm really thrilled with how it turned out so I hope y'all enjoyed it if you do if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already hit that little red subscribe button please do I have several more drawers and items from this jewelry box that I'm I've got ideas for so I'm gonna be doing those, but um, this just goes to show you what you can do with some trash, <laughs> literally. Um, so um, yeah, I guess that's it. So until next time, bye y'all.